Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. This week I met with the Greater Dallas Alzheimer's Association and we talked about the importance of Alzheimer's research. With over 5 million Americans now living with Alzheimer's, we need to improve our understanding of this debilitating disease. The United States spends more than $150 billion on Alzheimer's each year, but only a fraction of that spending is dedicated to research. For $3 spent in Medicare or Medicaid for Alzheimer's care, only a penny is invested in the National Institute of Health in finding a treatment and a cure. Research must be a priority for our nation so we can eradicate this immense emotional, physical, and financial toll that Alzheimer's has on patients and families. Last week, I reintroduced the Making Investments Now for Dementia Act, also known as the MIND Act. If passed, this act would establish the issuance of United States Alzheimer's bonds to aid in the funding of Alzheimer's research, giving Americans an option to voluntarily invest in a cure for this difficult and costly disease. In addition to yearly appropriated funds, all proceeds of bond sales would be available to the Director of National Institutes of Health solely for Alzheimer's research. Thus has formed a voluntary funding source which could be part of a person's 401 or retirement plan. We need to move from not only treating Alzheimer's patients, but fixing the problem as well. Investing the long-term future of our country's health will make advancements in understanding the cause of this disease. With nearly one out of seven Americans over the age of 65 suffering from Alzheimer's, now is the time to find a cure. I can think of no more loving gift a parent could give a child while saving for their retirement years to actually fund the research to find the cure. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information about this issue and other issues before the United States Congress, please visit my website at burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.